don't fucking work either. I know. It's gone flat, I think. Take a deep breath, we're letting the V8 Utes loose again at Winton on race day extra. It's a restart, we head out on to lap four of ten. Grant Johnson leads the way, Chris Pith is second, the reigning champ Jack Ellsgood in third, and the series points leader David Cedars sits in fourth. Andrew Fisher next, then Gary Baxter, Gary McDonald in seventh, Ben Dunn, Reese McNally's ninth, the West Aussie, that's a brand new car, you might remember in Adelaide, his co-driver, Tim Shaw, had a massive accident at the chicane and they've put together a brand new car for this weekend. Well, some bad news for Kim Jane. He's broken a drive shaft in that ute. They came in under safety car, couldn't fix it. He's sent back out just to get some valuable points. So he'll circulate, but not very fast. And that is what not going fast looks like with <laughs> Kim Jane. That is very unaccustomed for him. Quite disappointing for Kim Jane. He's obviously right up there in the points. One of the guys we regularly see at the front in the Ute races. But Grant Johnson's managed to pull a little gap there. At that restart, Chris Pitlin did a great job. He really put some pressure on Johnson. But up in the slower section, in the, in the you know, the top of the circuit, it appears that Johnson's able to get away a little bit from Pitlin. So now uh, Pitlin's back under pressure from Jack Ellsgood again. And Pitlin's learning the Commodore. He's got a lot of experience with the Falcon back in New Zealand and previously competed here in the Ute Series in Australia so still learning the nuances of this car. Grant Johnson's been driving the Commodore for a long long time hence why he's got the pace at the moment and he's just starting to drive away from the rest of the field. This is only round two of the championship. It's very very early stages but obviously with Kim Jane he's 30th at the moment but they could still come in handy those championship points when we get to the last race of the year. Oh, every point will count, certainly when you, uh, you try and go through the whole season. But Chris Pither, he was actually doing a great job over at Hamilton. They had a bit of a U challenge over there. He and Kim Jane fought it out all weekend. And uh, Pither was winning some races. So it's great to see him here right at the front and doing a great job. The run up the old pit straight now leads into turn three. Grant Johnson, fastest car on the road. 139.88 last time around. He's going faster. Whoa. That's turn three. That's about all I know at the moment. There's someone in the market. Jeremy Gray, the Rockstar Falcon. And as Bryony mentioned, it was touch and go whether he would be on the grid this weekend. He's on the grid, but he's in the grass. Yeah, it's obviously very disappointing. He's done a great job to recover from his injuries and to, to get out there is just a, a stellar effort. But obviously, uh, yeah, the race isn't going according to plan. He's going to have to fight back through the field. Alsgood is putting the pressure on Pitha. Replay at turn three for Yokohama. This is what happened. Turns in across the front of Craig Dontis and probably asked for that one. Yeah, a little bit of rub and push and shove and uh, he's obviously come off second best, but wasn't take, doesn't take much, does it? Just upset the rear of that ute and away it goes. That's the battle right deep in the middle of the pack. There is Kim Jane limping around, just trying to stay out of everybody's way. If there's a few retirements in the race, he'll pick up some bonus points, but it is a case of keep on keeping on. Craig Dondas, well, the mirror's hanging off. And mirror's we're hanging we're off. back to a situation normal in a Ute race. Absolutely. It's good to see these guys pushing hard all the way. This is only round two, and, and the recovery from someone from Adelaide, 
they've done a great job to get back. And there's that great shot. Look at that tyre working so hard. And Donta sits 14th at the moment behind his Charlie O'Brien, who had such a laugh at Adelaide. He thought, I've got to get back into this racing thing. Went and bought himself a V8 U and has signed up for the rest of the year. And there, that's what we were talking about. Look at the application at Turn 1. Those brake discs glow. And not only is he running at race pace, he's putting some pressure on Charlie O'Brien. It's an amazing shot, the way that, that disc glows, that pad comes in contact with the rotor. And obviously in terms of turning that uh, energy from the pad into the rotor, it slows the car down, but the heat is just unbelievable. Look at the way it makes that, uh, that rotor glow. Through the sweep, you can hear Craig just on and off the throttle. Now the switch back into the right kick and he's defending the line because that is one of the good overtaking options on this track. And Nandy Kiss is right there and ready to take that spot. But Johnson's got away. One and a half seconds the margin. Back to these guys. Pitha, Ellsgood and David Cedars, the former Fujitsu V8 supercar racer who turned up for his first Ute race in Adelaide and came away the championship leader. It's amazing to see him leading, isn't it? So he's sitting fourth. He's, he's going to be a bit careful about it this weekend. What I love about the Utes, though, uh, Aaron, is, is the colours, the sponsors. If you look at what we've got out there, everything from coffee through to beer, tyre shops, we've got all sorts of bits and pieces out there, but it's great to see this category with great financial support. And very few virgin white cars. There's colours of just about everything from the spectrum. Everything from bottle shops to iced coffee drinks and all sorts of things. So, But the guy out in front, he's got a plain black car, so he's looking for some sponsors, a bit of support, and doing a great job. Johnson leading the way. He's got this one under control. Pith has just been able to hold off the advances of Jack Ellsgood. So strange seeing Jack in a white car for so many years in the Cooper's green car, now in the Cooper's clear white car. But this race has actually been reduced. It was originally 10 laps. It's down to seven. So Grant Johnson just has to hang on for this one and he picks up some more points. This is where Jack Ellsgood's quite fast. The front of his car's working well. He's able to pull in Chris Pither all through this section of the circuit. But when they get to the back straight, Pith is able to get away again. So you'll see Jack's car close right up through this tight section. He's uh, obviously handling quite well. And uh, Pith just gets away in the straight line, which makes it hard for him to pass. So anyone who's decided to set their car up in terms of tyre pressures to come on late in the race, they've made the bad call. It's just worked against them. Well, sometimes it happens that way, doesn't it? A safety car throws it out. You can see Ellsgood's right up underneath the back of the, uh, the tailgate now on Pith's car. But Pith just gets that acceleration, gets the power down, and away he goes. So yeah, with the race cut short, obviously your fuel usage is different, your tyre pressure, your tyre management changes, but um, that's what happens, unfortunately, when the safety car comes out. A couple of corners left to go for our leader, Grant Johnson, the former champion, is piecing together a very strong start to the 2010 Yokohama V8 Ute Series. It says advertise here. Well, he's holding up his end of the bargain. The chequered flag is waiting, and the West Aussie will bring it to the line in style. A quick look in the mirror. There's no reason to be worried, Grant. Johnson wins race one in round two of the championship at Winton. Chris Pitha home in second. And the boys were well behaved. Very, very calm for the first Ute race here at Winton. We'll see what happens over the next couple, but uh, great job by Grant Johnson. It's good to see him uh, winning races again. It's a one-two for the Commodore drivers. The Falcons chase them home. Plenty of fans here love the Ute racing here in country Victoria. It really is a big hit. Ellsgood third from Cedars. Fisher in fifth. Ben done in eighth, and Gary Carson did a great job. He rounded out the top ten. After the break, the V8 supercars roll out of Winton. They've got 20 minutes to find that perfect lap, and the prize is a place in the top ten shootout. Qualifying for race 11 of the season is up next on 7.